Alright. How do I use it? So, I see the list of enemies coming on the right-hand side. But I don't see which direction they're coming from. Uh, maybe it doesn't do that. Okay, it's just the list of enemies, but not where they're coming from. I don't know if that what that last picture is. That might be a boomer, or that might be a carrion something. It's a bulky. Okay. I'm Guess where? Um... Wait, what? Did that do anything? Hi, Shugo. The arrows moved. Oh, did they? Ah, so they did. So there's a fat arrow up there and down there. Actually, no. Bring him back. Let's try that. Uh, okay, we still have quite a bit of gold. Are the heroes mainly ranged? Can they be melee? They could be melee. I've got a sledgehammer on this gal. There's uh, axes, swords, spears, sledgehammers, one-handed hammers, shields. Um, I prefer range because I'm a scaredy cat, but you can do uh, melee stuff, absolutely. Looking at all the eco, but oh, I could do that. Well, no, that would take four days to pay for itself, and we've only got one day left. There's no point in doing that. Uh, shop. Not an upgrade. Does it cost, oh, it costs mana to use these. Do that. All right. Hope I position these okay. We're about to find out the hard way. See you in the morning, friends. Don't panic. Don't panic. Really nice opening shots on the ballistas. 
Angry Panda Walls, thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome back, buddy. Windshark, Guild Wars 2 question. If I buy a harvesting tool with statuettes, does it give me an unbreakable tool or just the skin? You get an unbreakable tool with that skin. Elite Lancer. Entangle. Dude, 251 poison a turn from this. This is the highest poison damage character I've ever had. Oh, I forgot about Sheer. Uh... Alright. Yeah, he can't get line of sight of her to Sheer. Okay. Mega Stomp. Well done, Flute. Back to base. I don't know why the Sledgehammer has that long a range, but I'm not complaining, chat. Is this a wave where Mr. No Pants is gonna just do insanely good again? Looks like it. He barely gave his teammate anything to do there. No Pants strikes again. Okay. Lots of poison kills, they rush forward. A trap, uh, wow, a really old trap I forgot about just went off. Ballistas. Did that guy hit twice? Energetic. I guess energetic means he goes twice. That would explain what we just saw. Alright, he's dead. What does Entangle do? Minus three movement points. All right. That guy cannot... I, man, I am so glad that you were like, hey, you should try this, because this is way better than what I was doing. All right, so he can't move now at all. The Elite Lancer and the Bulky are both stuck. Oh, that's great. Okay. 
All right, back him up. Um, let's see. Thanks, time to buy that fused harvesting tool then. Yeah, another thing, Windshark, let's say you, you buy that fused harvesting tool, you could equip it on one character, and then your other characters could transmute, uh, like transmogrify um, their harvesting tools just to look like the fused harvesting tool, and it will harvest faster. Uh, because just the animation harvests faster. So you can use the animation on all your tunes if you want it. What's applying the Contagion automatically? Um, this trait here, Epidemic. When you apply a Poison, you apply Contagion. Will that Elite get bombarded for Poison or Contagion if the guys around him die for Poison? No, um, it only applies uh, Contagious stuff to people not already Contagious. So it'll spread from Contagious people to not Contagious people. And that little green thing there means it's already got Contagious. Hey, good morning. A very, very sleepy chip just walked in and sat down. Hey. What's up? Stretch. This dude just woke up, I think. It's like, it is noon, I am ready to start my day. I would jokingly say get a job, but he's more famous than the average cat, so. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, eh. Okay. All right. Hmm. Isolated enemy. Uh, but his armor is really high. That's not good. All right, hold on. Pause that idea. Wait, what? Wait, if this kills someone, you move to that tile. I don't know if I want that right now. She also has a trait where if she poisons someone who's already poisoned, it attempts to stun them. That little star right there. So dead, stunned, stunned, dead, 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 immobilized, immobilized, dead, 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 dead. All right, you. I'm having him target armored people first because he pierces it. Crap! You're amazing! Keep up the great work! Alright. Well, I did what I could there. Um... No, he missed! Imagine a streamer forgetting about one of the Twitch income sources. <laughs> oh god. Have you heard about Twitch Prime? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them got stunned. Oh, wait, that was too much movement. Yeah. 
Wiggle bomb! For those of you unfamiliar with the wiggle bomb, there's a mechanic of the game called momentum, where if you do a lot of movement, like, well, if you do movement and then do certain attacks, the movement is added to the attack. And if you just literally go, like, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and then hit, it, it still counts. So right there, she did, a, like, a little bit of movement and then hit that guy. And that's the wiggle bomb. Where does the wiggle bomb come from? I made it up. I will say, whenever I see it, though, I think about a character in the My Hero Academia anime. He got an ability, and he calls it Fajin. But basically, he will sit there, and he'll just, like, he'll start doing squats. And he'll just get faster and faster and faster. And then he'll jump, and he'll leap over a building. Like, he builds up kinetic energy, and then, ex and then just, you know, burns it all at once for something really big. Uh, everyone's action points are used. Okay. Boom! Trap one off. Dude, so the last time we did a run of this, our ballistas, when they fired, they just hit one target. That's it. Now, one, they pierce and hit a target and the thing behind it. Two, they'll fire at two different targets. So ideally, they're hitting four targets instead of one this run, which is great. Wiggle Bomb is your stripper name? Oh, wow. Mine was, uh, sir, this is a library. At least that's what everybody kept yelling at me. Uh, okay. We got a bulky up there. We got another bulky here. All right. We still have... Dude, this is so good. Oh, my God. The, all right, so these guys still cannot move. All right, that one's immobilized now also. The bees! Hmm. B, and then it'll go back this way. I forgot to cheer! Ah! You're amazing! Rub some dirt in it! Walk it off! Provision tokens are a pain in the butt. Sign someone with 286 provision tokens. I had a daily task. I, you guys know how I am with my daily habits. And for a while, I was buying like three provision tokens every day. And when I got to like 600 of them or something, people were like, Muck, you can't possibly use that many. You, you could get all the legendaries in the game and still have some left over. And I was like, oh. And I stopped that activity. A uh, little worried up here. This guy's super resistant to stun, and this lady is up here on her own. I don't know if she can handle this. We're charging the wiggle. Ugh. That's all the wiggle we had, chat. <laughs> We're fresh out of wiggle.
Use a health potion. All right, up here. Um, mm -mm -mm. I think if you don't lose too many walls this night, you should build as many traps as you care for the last night. Maybe. How many gifts of craftsmanship do you need for the legendaries? Gifts of craftsmanship? I mean, it depends on the legendaries. But the wiki is the best place to find out the, the answer to that. a lot of the armored ones down. No! No! <laughs> he, he gets so many turns where he just randomly misses a whole ton. Alright, that's everything we can do. Poison ticks. They push in. Ugh. I think Chip is in the window, attacking the window. There's probably a bug on the other side or something. Oh, there's so many bulkies. Holy crap. All right. Elite runner. Huh? That one's new to me. All right. Well, whatever he is, he's gone now. All right. This guy cannot move. This one can, this one cannot, this one can. All right, we're going to need another entangle over here. All right, none of them can move now. Let me see if I do... Okay, so quick shot fires three bolts for about 110 damage minimum. So, 330. Slow death does 251 for two turns. All right, this guy. I think if he doesn't die, the uh, I think he'll die the turn after next. This dude, does he have enough poison on him to kill him? Maybe. We're gonna do that. All right. And I got a couple of big fellas here. Entangle. Uh, I gotta tell you guys, after this run, druid staves are absolutely going to be a thing used more often in my runs. Because, wow. Definitely liking this combination. That was like nothing. Um, I wonder if I can start running her. Did I use cheer this turn? Ah, you're amazing. Yes. Okay. So, like, I'm a little worried up here and over here right now. I can attempt to stun, but. Zero stuns. Wow! You hate to see it! 
There's one stun. start moving up here, intending to help, and then she's gonna move in here. I want, oh man, I want to get out there and use uh, Mega Stomp, but you have to be this close to use Mega Stomp. I feel like all the times we've made a meme character of like a, a, a female fighter with a big hammer and named it Flute, this is the one where it's been the best. <laughs> I don't think it's ever done better than this one. Oh, Flute's here. What's up, Flute? Your namesake is doing fantastic. Fireball would hit his armor, which would not do a lot right now. Alright, back him away. Alright. Again, I'm worried about northwest and northeast right now. Oh, there's another bulky down there. Cheer. cheer, 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 yes, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're so good, oh my god, girl, yes, work it, work those crossbow bolts, yes, I wish I could put that on autocast, <laughs> alright, there is hope, the entangler has arrived, and before that was my name in college, Alright, um... 